Hi, my name is Lydia. I am a science ambassador at the University of Texas at Arlington. Today, we're gonna have some more fun with some dry ice. If you remember from our last video, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is usually found or in the gaseous form, and it is a gas that we breathe out, and that gas gets really compressed and put in a cold environment, which turns it into a solid, like the solid you see here. So I'm going to take this balloon. Put it over the Erlenmeyer flask with the dry ice. And I'm just going to transfer the dry ice to the balloon. As you can see, it's very cold. It is actually so cold that it is negative 109 degrees. Fahrenheit or negative 78 degrees Celsius. So now I'm just going to tie the balloon and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake. So as you can see, the balloon is expanding and that's because gas expands. And when I put the solid carbon dioxide inside the balloon and kind of shook it up a bit, it went through a process called sublimation. Sublimation is the process of a solid going to a gas while skipping the liquid phase. So it goes straight from a solid to a gas. And carbon dioxide does this because there's no water inside the formula, as you can see, because the formula is CO2. So unlike the ice that you get from your freezer and you put on the counter and it melts and then evaporates, this just goes straight to gas. Hence, it's blowing up the balloon. So if we just leave it alone and let it blow up, it'll get nice and big. I can shake it a bit to help speed it up a bit. So this size of balloon will eventually, if I keep letting it sublimate, reach the size of this balloon. No problem. Once I just let it sublimate for longer. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.